guys? I'm here very excited to review the Amelion Dio V2, well, 990 V2 in this beautiful, I believe on their website they said botanical green colorway. Um, this, let me just say, like Amelion Dio, they have knocked it out of the park this time. The 990s, the 997s, were great those amazing i love the murberry purple pair that was like beautiful but this i think they definitely leveled up this i think is going to be my shoe right next to these guys i believe this is just such a solid rotation especially uh especially since like I don't know. This this is just such a tasteful shoe, and I'm just I'm just ready to talk about it. So this is a part of the collection, Life in Balance, um, where essentially they showed on a promo clip as well as a few different like promotional materials, where you sort of need that duality. You need that city dwelling um, life where you're more of like an urban dweller, but also taking the time to get away, to have some time to yourself, and kind of experience almost like a quiet time for yourself uh, so they showed this um, this guy I believe he's like a model for Amelion Dio because I think he does some product shots as well um, him taking his aesthetic Range Rover to somewhere outside of New York I'm assuming um, and kind of chilling at a cabin with his dog kind of relaxing he was wearing a lot of the collection as well as like both this as well as the v5 shoes which the v5 shoes are on their way i will be probably posting about the v5s maybe as like a quick little update um as a very short video but i got these in first and i absolutely love them um i did do a few lace swaps um but i will be showing you guys all of the laces and an on foot uh, check the pin comment down below if you guys just care about that and don't want to talk about the shoe or the brand so I guess a few details about the shoe is that it is a mostly suede and mesh upper so all the green panels are going to be this nice buttery suede all the gray panels same buttery suede the blue panels as well I do believe that the yellow panels are a bit more of a new book um, so I guess I lied. It was a suede mostly mesh and then new buck. Um, all of the gray panels are this almost loose knit um, mesh and the loose knit mesh. Uh, I personally was a little bit iffy on because they also use something like this on the 997s that I've had in the 997s. I felt like might be a little bit worrisome in durability sometimes. But I do digress. Um, the tongue is a blue nubuck that says 990 New Balance, made in America, yada yada yada. As well as the N is almost like a synthetic material. I almost thought this was going to be um, 3M. I'll I'll put it in the overlay if it is 3M or not. Um, there are a few synthetic materials. So the synthetic material is the N as well as this white little um, piece that's in front of the initial lace hole, as well as, I believe underneath the M, it might actually, yeah, like underneath the end, that overlay underneath, that is just gonna be white leather, so there is leather on here. I do really like that they used a yellowed midsole right up here for that like absorb area, as well as the back area has absorb. Uh, all white bottom with a navy blue New Balance logo and I just think this was just so tastefully done. Um, and the inside is all felt. The original insoles, I switched them up for insoles that I personally prefer. Um, the New Balance, or the Amelion Dior original insoles come in this sort of like felt material so I think that's nice. I a part of me is worried about how the felt material is going to wear, but I digress. Oh, the box. 
beautiful, beautiful box. I love this green. I believe the V5 came in a dark blue box, almost reminiscent to whatever cobalt blue that they used on the shoe. But this came in a green, a botanical green, which I think is funny that like their website had botanical green. And it comes with quite a few laces. So it comes with a set of cream laces, comes with a set of cobalt blue laces. It's almost like a blue gray, as well as a pair of pine green laces as well. I've tried them all out. I like the cream as well as I like the pine green, um, as well as I like the yellow, but I just laced up the yellow uh, laces just for the review. Um, I'm probably going to switch it out to the cream as well as I'll probably go through a second round and see which lace I like. Uh, comfort on these, this is a 990 V2. Um, the V2s are decently comfortable. They're not like amazing like the V5s. I think the V5s offer a much better ride, mainly because of the fact that like the forefront is a little bit more stable. The heel is a little bit more comfortable and a little bit more pliable. So prices on these are going down. I've heard mixed things about sizing. So I went true to size. It fits all right, um, no issues. Maybe a tiny bit of room near the toe box, but the 990 V2s, um, traditionally you'd go half a size down, but I just went true to size. Works fine with me. I don't really have an issue with it. But if you are a little bit worried, I would say maybe if you can stop by a local New Balance, see if they have any 990 V2s. Um, kind of like retro. I think they did do like a round or two of like the gray ones just recently. So see if they're still in stock. Um, but I would say I'm normally an eight in Jordan ones, eight in my John Reebok, eight in I don't know like what are the shoe in the 997s, um, and they do have a little bit of room. Not a big deal whatsoever, but just thought I'd let you guys know. And yeah, this this has just been an amazing, amazing experience to like see this in hand. I, yeah, like thank you guys so much for watching. I will have an on body, as well as on foot section about these guys. And yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Um, I hope you guys enjoy the rest of your day. Follow me at Instagram at Kevin.IMG. Let me know if you have any questions about anything. And yeah, that's about it. Uh, the next video that I'm probably going to be doing is looking at looking at like a Nike Dunk that I have have had for a while. Um, gonna pull it out of the vault, kind of talk about it uh, very briefly. Catch you guys next time.